Hello everybody! As a gamer, you like to feel the excitement while playing a game. But this might be a lot different when playing games in virtual reality. While some people enjoy relaxed experiences in VR, there are others who seek for something extra for a bigger immersive experience. This can be for different reasons like for getting a bad day at work or just for health reasons. Of course, after playing a very immersive VR game, you might feel some thirst or hunger or a t-shirt covered in sweat. Besides that you can sometimes forget that you are inside a real room, it's also possible that you hit something inside the room. Which brings us to the first game of the list. This is press start to begin and let's go through some of my favorite VR games that got me covered in sweat. Number 10. Don't get hit in the face. As the title already explains it, you have to prevent getting hit in the face by anything that's coming towards you. You won't be needing your VR controllers for this game. Which is actually a good thing because you will use your hands on the floor. The game offers different modes of which in some way each have their own type of workout. Each round will always start slow, but the longer you hang on, the faster you will have to dodge. The challenge is not to get hit in the face as long as possible, which is honestly quite exhausting after a while. In this game, you will need to go at the edges of your room skill zone at some point, so make sure that you clear out the room so you won't be hitting your face for real. Number 9 Okay, having a bad day is something very common to everybody at some point. It can be because of traffic, or maybe you just got up on the wrong side of the bed this morning. You feel frustrated and you want to do something about it. The thrill of the fight is a good and healthy option. Besides the fact that you have to box against an AI, you will also have to maintain control over your frustration so you won't go in some kind of rage mode against an AI in VR. You will also have to use force while punching in order to punch hard enough. There are also practice modes in case you want to practice your punches or just as a warm-up before the real deal. The thrill of the fight will make you sweat without a doubt after a couple of matches or even after a couple of rounds. Number 8. There are also more peaceful ways that can make you tired enough while playing VR. Climby is a very fun and sportive VR game where, as it is mentioned in the title, you'll have to climb. Climby offers a series of challenging maps and also a Steam Workshop with currently more than 800 available maps for you to explore and climb on. You can also play online with other people and race each other over the maps to see who will finish first with the best time or just to encourage each other for not giving up. You can also give each other a hand in case someone can't make it beyond a certain point. Some of these maps are created by very dedicated map builders which could take you an hour or even hours to finish it. Besides stamina and persistency, you will sometimes also need insight to land on the right spot and to be patient until you finally made that jump. Number 7 It's normal to feel hungry after doing a session in virtual reality. But in the next game, you won't have time to eat while you are the one serving food to the undead. Dead hungry is all about fast-paced movement. When you take a look outside, you could say that your life depends on it. In dead hungry, you have to make fast food and burgers and burgers with that fast food to feed the undead. Giving them very big burgers or enough fast food will make them human again. Sounds easy, right? Well, it's not so easy when they are coming towards you at a speed like they are coming straight out of some kind of machine from a cookie factory. Besides the fact that you have to be very fast and that you can't stop preparing food, you will also have to stay aware of various zombies who require a little more than just some burgers. Number 6 You can pick up a weapon while holding your breath but you'll have to use all the air inside your lungs if you want to use that weapon. The next game of the list is Hollow Point. 
in this game, you'll have to use a bow and arrow while dodging incoming projectiles. You will have to complete a bunch of waves, which will start very calm and relaxing. You aim and shoot the arrows on the floating objects and when you hit them, or when you can't hit them, they will shoot a projectile towards you. You will have to duck or move sideways very fast, so it won't hit you. Things will speed up very soon once you make it through a couple of waves. The objects will spawn faster and the projectiles will move faster towards you. On top of that, later in the game, you will find other types of things you'll have to aim and shoot arrows to. Hollow Point also have a second game which is called Hollow Point Chronicle. I will also add a link to that game in the description of the video. Number 5 if a bow and arrow isn't your thing, then you might want to try Ninja Legend. Here you will have to use katanas or other melee weapons and fight waves of ninjas. The game offers you several difficulty levels if you think you're up to it. You can also challenge yourself in various ways, like for example fighting with one katana in a level that's built for two. There is also a leaderboard with the scores of the best ninjas out there. Ninja Legend is all about fast-paced combat. Just like Hollow Point, the gameplay is 360 degrees and the enemies can attack and even spawn from all directions around you. This game can get a little intense at some points, so be sure that everything around you is safe enough so you won't hit anything or anyone. Number 4 in case you don't want to do a VR Wave Survivor game, but still want to use melee weapons, then you might want to try Tales of Glory. Tales of Glory is a medieval battle simulator where you'll have to stand in the middle of the battlefield. You can rely on fate or command your army. Either way, non-stop physical movement is required if you want to survive the battle. You will have a wide choice of melee weapons to choose from and with including your hands, you will have 6 weapon slots on you. The game also offers custom battles, where you can set up more options to your personal preferences. There are other modes than just a wild battlefield. You can protect the king, hold and defend and much more. You can also push yourself to the limit and see if you can survive a war with 2000 units. Good luck with that! Number 3 Make sure that you don't play the next game on an empty stomach because this is definitely something which you will feel the day after. In Sprint Vector you will have to race on skates by swinging your arms. But not just wildly swinging, it has to be specific and with speed and force. The faster you swing your arms within the swinging range, the faster you will move forward in the race. The maps are well made for fast paced parkour racing. You can also make jumps in the game, which are always a few useful seconds to take a breath. The game also provides online multiplayer, which is even more exhausting than single player races. If this game doesn't make you sweat after a couple of levels, then maybe you wanna have your armpits checked by someone. Number 2 I think most VR gamers are already aware of how much Beat Saber can make you sweat. But for the gamers who don't know this game yet, Beat Saber is a VR rhythm game where you slice yourself through the music. You'll have to hit the blocks with the matching colors of your swords and also in the right direction. When playing Beat Saber, you just can't stop playing until you made it completely through a level. By that time, you will already be covered in sweat. Beat Saber is highly recommend for any VR gamers, by the way. Number 1 Another sweaty experience is Downstream, VR Whitewater Kayaking. You will have to use your arms the whole time to move forward, steer or drift left and right. Make sure that you are sitting down when you are going to play this game. The Wild Rivers also includes a lot of high jumps and high speed excitement. 
there is also an online leaderboard which you can use to challenge yourself to beat somebody's fastest time. These were 10 VR games that will make you sweat. I hope you enjoyed this video and hopefully it helped you to discover new interesting games. Thanks for watching and until next time. Salut!